It's Drew Dalby on Regina's Rock Station, 104.9 The Wolf. Regina's Rock Station, 104.9 The Wolf. It's an awkward time coming back from the holidays because every one of your coworkers is going to ask you how your New Year's was. There's just no cool way to say, I ate an entire shrimp ring by myself, watched YouTube videos until 11.30, fell asleep in an armchair, woke up at 3.17 with a kink in my neck, and hobbled up to bed. I mean, it's exactly how I wanted my New Year to go, There's just no cool way to say it. The last country anyone expected to be at the Olympics in South Korea next month was North Korea. But it might happen now. Kim Jong-un said in a speech that he'd be interested in talking to the South about sending a delegation, which is impressive because North Korea doesn't usually send large groups of people out of the country who have no intention of coming back into the country. But think about this for a second. In just over a month, we might have a whole delegation of North Koreans at the Olympics and zero NHL players. Gary Bettman is officially less reasonable than Kim Jong-un. That's impressive. Depressing, but impressive. Be healthier, spend less money. It's your Facebook feed summed up in five words as everyone says the same old things for resolutions in 2018, but why go with the same old junk you fail at living up to every year? Why not resolve to wear less pants in 2018? We all know you hate pants. Or to use your blinker more than 14% of the time. That's a resolution you'll probably fail at, but if you don't, it'll mean way more to society than you having fewer cheeseburgers. Or you could resolve to do something that will make your life infinitely better. Don't read a single comment section the whole year. It's tough, but your sanity will thank you. Regina's Rock Station, 104.9 of the Wolf. It's 314 with your old pal, Dolby. The time spent between a plane landing and you being allowed to get off said plane is scientifically proven to be slower than any other time you'll ever experience. In Madrid, a man got so sick of waiting that after 30 minutes of sitting on the runway but in the plane, he popped open the emergency exit and tried to bail off the wing, like grabbed his carry-on luggage, went through the emergency exit and was standing on the wing trying to figure out how he was going to get down. Now, sadly, someone talked him out of jumping or this story would be way funnier. If you want to see the video, check out facebook.com slash the wolf rocks. That's it. Show's done. Stick around, though, because the ever talented Shauna Jefferson is up next. I'll sit my ass back in the big chair tomorrow from three till seven. Thanks for hanging out. I'll see you at the next one.